Hello and welcome to a very exciting day here at Teltonica Networks. I'm Andres Unikas and today is more than just another product launch. This is different. It is us venturing into the next era of connectivity, 5G, and we would like to thank you, our clients, our partners, for supporting us throughout the years. And we are looking forward to helping you to shape the future of IoT. Today, we are very proud to be unveiling not one, but two 5G products. And what I can say right now is, this really the thing. And let's get to it. So what does 5G mean for us, for IoT? Is it just more speed or something more? To answer these questions, joining us from Stockholm, the best person to talk about 5G is an IoT Solutions Strategic Product Manager at Ericsson, Graziano Ponzo. Hey Graziano, could you briefly tell the people what do you do in the 5G market? Hello everyone. Very happy to be here. Uh, I work as strategic product manager in IoT Accelerator, which is uh, Ericsson Connectivity Management as a service offering to mobile operators. With 125 live 5G networks deployed in 55 countries, Ericsson is the world leading provider of 5G networks. Well, 5G is a real game changer in mobile broadband communication and it will enhance user experience in a number of use cases. Brilliant. You know, when people think about 5G, they think of higher speeds. And what speeds we are talking about? And what about the latency? Well, first of all, 5G means more speed and higher capacity. This is important because data traffic nowadays is growing at about 60% per year as people stream more videos and use more connecting services. So more capacity is needed to allow many more connected devices to transfer much more data at much higher speed. And uh, therefore much less latency is expected in the data transfer. This enable real time use cases such as, uh, for example, autonomous vehicles, drones, artificial intelligence for industrial IoT and robotics, for example, and uh, many, many others. Just uh, to share with you some numbers, a 5G network can deliver up to 10 gigabit per second, which if we compare with 4G, it's around 10 times faster than a 4G network. If we talk about latency instead, the latency is reduced from the 50 milliseconds on average uh, that we have for, 5, for 4G to 1 to 10 milliseconds that we have with 5G. And what about the power? With such higher speeds and lower latency, doesn't 5G consume a lot of power? No, on the contrary, uh, 5G means power efficiency. For IoT devices, for example, that run on a small battery, for example, and they should run for years, 5G can provide a connection that consumes very little energy thanks to a number of improvements, such as uh, using a larger number of smaller cells, for example, and uh, that are using higher radio frequencies. Then uh, there are new power management schemas, and uh, there is also data packet compression algorithm. Moreover, a 5G network has so much processing power built in that it becomes more than a network. The network can act as a distributed data center uh, that performs processing tasks as well. This means that intense processing tasks could be handled by the network instead of the device processor. And so this will improve the performance and will improve and save the battery of the device. That's amazing. This must open brand new possibilities. Definitely. 5G can act as many different network at once, each serving different kind of devices and solution. This cool 5G technology is called network slicing. So slices of the network can be tailored for a specific purpose and act as their own independent network. 
So to explain a little bit better, each slide can optimize the 5G characteristic needed for a specific service without wasting resources on things it doesn't need. So just an example, one slice could provide, for example, a special service for devices which heavy data transfer need, like, for example, industrial routers. Another slice could be used, uh, for example, for massive machine type communication where small data is required, keeping low power consumption. And for example, another slice could be used for application which require ultra low latency, such as uh, autonomous driving or uh, remote surgery, for example. So to summarize, 5G represents a real revolution in mobile broadband technology. And we are really happy to see that Tonica Networks is moving into this future, implementing that amazing technology in their new products. We certainly are. Thank you, Graziano, for joining us and for your invaluable insights. Thank you for inviting. So the first 5G product we will introduce you to is the newest addition to our TRB Gateway series. When the series was born, the idea was to have small, easy to use, but powerful devices that are very good at doing their job, providing connectivity to a single device with 4G, a more compact and affordable device creating greater value for our clients with no compromises about the quality and performance. So we started with the TRB1 Gateway series, which was an instant success. Then they were followed by the TRB2 series, supporting different LTE categories. Over time, this family of devices grew, and today I'm very proud to introduce you its 5G newest member, the TRB500. And here it is, TRB500, your gateway to a 5G future. As you might imagine, the design and development of the TRB500 and the second 5G product, which we will show you in a moment, was quite a unique process. To learn more about it, I had a talk with our head of hardware department, Luka Jarovas. Let's hear what he had to say about it. Hey, Lucas. Hey, Andrus. So, Lucas, where are we exactly today? Uh, today, we are at the headquarters of Teltonica Networks R&D. That is where all of our devices turn from ideas into products. It's very important for us to maintain maximum control over the quality and the performance of our uh, products, uh, so we choose not to outsource any steps of development process and it's basically all in-house. And the same goes for the new 5G devices? Uh, of course, of course. Can you give me some background about the development process of these devices? Uh, we started around late spring of 2021. It was simple at first, but a lot of research went into selecting the right SOC and components as well as understanding what the market needs. In terms of hardware, we primarily focus on managing high-speed interfaces. And one of uh, the devices is like a double-decker bus with the 5G modem sitting on the second floor and the SOC on the first, so the data has to move uh, downwards. The trick is to control electromagnetic interference, data integrity, and so on. All because of how fast 5G is. Okay, I understand. And what kind of challenges did we face in the process? One of the biggest challenges was, uh, of course, the chip uh, shortage. 
we have to plan for steps ahead to ensure the device could actually be manufactured on time. And uh, our procurement team did an amazing job securing the components we need. Another challenge was finding uh, the right antennas. They had to be small, uh, powerful, uh, quality antennas can be hard to come by, but thankfully we found ones we are happy with. Okay, so did developing two, even two 5G devices at the same time uh, affect their development? Yeah. Uh, not really. We knew we want to launch both at the same time, right from the beginning. Uh, what took the most time was ensuring their quality and uh, reliability, which are always our core focus. So it was very important for us to ensure we don't sacrifice anything along the way, uh, even if it means taking longer to enter the 5G market and catch the 5G train. Luckily, uh, a local ESP here in Lithuania provides us with dedicated 5G base station uh, in addition to our own, which allowed us to complete uh, extensive testing in real-life conditions uh, on top of uh, laboratory ones. Okay, so that's perfect. And thank you very much for your time, Lucas. My pleasure. And now, to talk about the second 5G product, I would like to invite Teltonica Network's Head of Marketing, Marius Navitskas. Hey, Marius. Hey, Andres. So good to be here. And hey, everybody. Today is indeed very exciting. And I just want to reiterate just how grateful we at Teltonica Networks are for you, our clients, partners, and all the people going on this journey of revolutionizing IoT together. Thank you. When we think of 5G, what words come to mind? Speed, power, performance. Our second 5G device to be unveiled today is coming from RUT X series. I think most of you are familiar with our RUT240 uh, which is our best seller for very good reasons. But when it comes to RUT X series, we wanted to answer the need for more powerful devices. One gigabit per second, Wi-Fi 5, LTE CAT 6, CAT 12, dual LTE in a single router. We started with RUT X11 and its success led to different devices serving different needs. And today, the need is for 5G. So welcome, RUT X50. I'm especially excited about this one. Evolve your connectivity with RUTX50. There's no doubt the demand for 5G in different markets is only going to grow. But to get a better understanding of the sales potential here, I would like to invite the head of sales of Teltonica Network's Seller Devices Division, Mr. Mindaugas Navitskas. Hi, Mindaugas. Hey, Marus. Hello, everybody. Um, so, Mindogas, I'm, I'm very happy to have an opportunity to ask you about the key drivers for, for 5G market growth, in your opinion. Uh, in my opinion, there are three main market drivers uh, which will drive uh, and is driving the 5G market. Uh, first two are rather obvious. It comes from the technology. It is, first is latency, uh, second is speed, and the third one is not that obvious, but it, it makes sense. Uh, it is future-proofing of IoT solutions. So, uh, speed uh, is like no-brainer when you think about solutions such as CCTV. Like a lot of uh, bandwidth required for HD video streaming. 
And the, the speed of 5G will enable those solutions to be cheaper rather than more expensive because one device will be able to cover multiple cellular devices. Uh, the second driver uh, will be latency. It will enable 5G to enter markets 4G couldn't go to. Uh, for example, critical infrastructure where milliseconds are crucial and they're important. So 5G will, be, will enable uh, those, uh, those solutions to be powered by cellular network instead of wired network. And this will drive the market as well. And the third one, I think, and it will be the biggest driver, uh, is future proofing of IoT solutions. Because many businesses have already learned the lesson uh, with 3G. They saved a little bit of money now, installed 3G, and they didn't think into the future. They didn't think that their solutions will last for such a long time and uh, the 3G technology became obsolete and they had to replace the 3G devices with the next generation 4G devices. And this did cost a lot of money, a lot of chaos, a lot of nerves to everybody. So I think 5G will be preferred device in many new projects because for a little bit more money, you will get future-proof device. You know, I, I couldn't agree more with you because with more and more partners that we speak, we see that uh, the minimum lifespan of an IoT solution is what? Five, five eight seven, years? Five, seven, eight, ten years even. And, you know, it, it's really difficult to say what will happen in such amount of time. Therefore, the businesses are going to go for a safe bet. Indeed, indeed. So like 3G technology lasted for what? 10 years, 12 years, so yeah. Not a lot. It's not that <laughs> much, actually. Um, okay, we spoke about the drivers, but what do you think about you know, overall sales potential here? Oh, overall sales potential is massive because 5G not only is superior to 4G, it, it, will, it is not that more expensive either. So. Uh, combine that, it's a per perfect storm. Uh, 5G will enable new use cases, uh, which 4G couldn't cut it. It was lacking speed, it was lacking, uh, it, was, it had too big latency. So it will open those doors, as well as it will compete with 4G very, very, very much. And uh, I think it will win. In the next couple of years, 5G should overtake 4G market. Mm -hmm. So next couple of years, but what's further? You know, what are the longer term perspectives in your opinion? Uh, sky's the limit. I think 5G, uh, like in the long, long run, biggest competitor for 5G is not 4G. It's fiber. Because you bring, you have fiber speeds in cellular network. So sky's the limit. Um, yeah, I couldn't agree more with that. And you know, I have a strong feeling that your sales team is just making notes right now <laughs> and, and, and probably the rest, of, so. <laughs> rest of our viewers and partners. So thank you so much, Mindogas, for, for joining us today. And, you know, I'm excited to be thank here you for on having this me. 5G journey. Thanks. 5G is the future and the future is now here. Now, I know you may have a lot of questions and we'd be more than happy to answer them during a live Q&A session that's going to be taking place this Wednesday, September the 7th at 11 a.m. GMT plus three. Just check our website for more detailed instructions on how to join. But that is going to do it for today. So thank you all for joining in and welcome to the 5G Future Vital Tonica Networks.